guys welcome to the moving vlog i'm a little anxious <laughs> i'm actually about to head out to the lawyers which is why i have weirded like nervous energy right now let me talk about this sweater for a second I went to my sister's last night for a bachelorette night slash uh, pizza night because we were watching The Bachelorette and eating pizza and uh, our Taylor Swift stuff came. I forgot that I had even ordered this. I ordered it back in like August when I was still living in Toronto and got it mailed to my sister. We went in on an order together. Anyway, I got the um, tie-dye sweater that I'm wearing over top of my legal outfit of the day. And then I also got this one too. It's like an evergreen folklore sweater song names on the side and now y'all bet i want ever more gear i'm heading to the lawyers i it'll probably take me like an hour or two apparently to fill out all this paperwork buying a house alone like i didn't even think about one the process and how long it takes but two having to figure out so much on my own like i do any of you guys know what a fire insurance binder is because i figured out what that was today the amount of times i've visited the bank that i have a lawyer now i have a mortgage broker i have a real estate agent i have an insurance broker i just feel like a mighty adult my body doesn't know the difference between what is a threat versus what is excitement and this is exciting things these are exciting things to be doing to be getting a house this week like I, it doesn't even really feel real to be honest with you um, so I just keep on trying to remind myself that, to remind my body that, and then just go with the flow, like one thing at a time. Oh lord, by Sunday, by Sunday, you're gonna have a house on Sunday. Are you excited? You don't even know. You have no idea. You're gonna have so many squirrels to chase. Y'all, <laughs> the struggle is so real. I need to learn Ottawa streets. I'm waiting outside the lawyer's office and I got here early because I wanted to make sure that I, I'm like either way too early or way too late and I wanted to be rather way too early today and there was a Starbucks right on the corner so like screw it I'm gonna order myself a drink and go pick it up <laughs> so I go into the Starbucks and I'm standing there and I'm standing there and I'm standing there and I check my app and I ordered it to a Starbucks on the other side of Ottawa she doesn't even go here the people at the Starbucks were nice enough to literally just make it for me thank you people at Starbucks on Elgin five stars so I have about five minutes before I'm gonna head in um, I have no idea what to expect I, I really have never done anything like this before in my life how many papers do I have to sign to fill up two hours worth of time I didn't mean for that to rhyme all right, it's closing day. Oh my god, it's closing day. I'm just getting ready to leave actually. I have to head out, uh, go drop off my down payment, which makes my, even just thinking about it, makes my stomach not. I like barely slept last night. I am <laughs> just a ball of energy. Hit the bank, do some boss ass shit, and go get my house. absorb that I just drove up to my house for the first time. There's a car here. I'm hoping it's the cleaner's car and that the guy's gone. Otherwise, this could get really awkward. But I'm here. I'm at my house. I can't believe this is mine. I guess I should give you guys a look. Do you want to see it? Isn't she pretty? I've never been more excited in my life. Are you excited? Welcome home. It's officially an hour later and I'm not able to go inside yet. This has definitely not been like the most smooth sailing. Unfortunately, I found like a lot of garbage in the yard and things like that. So that's like some stuff I'm gonna have to deal with. I'm still really excited. It's just become more difficult and things weren't done that were supposed to be done, which sucks because I just wanted to like, I just wanted to be here yesterday. <laughs> and thank God I didn't book my movers today because I wouldn't have been able to even move in if I wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I should include this because I don't wanna just like vlog everything like it's all smooth sailing. Like it has definitely not been smooth sailing, let me tell you. <laughs> but yeah. 
Belly and I are just chilling in the car. We went and explored the backyard a little bit, hence where I found all the garbage, including a ripped mattress. But other than that, still really excited. Still good vibes. here until like 10 p.m. last night. I didn't get back to my Airbnb in Gatineau until like 11. I was packing up until like 2. I think even, no, it was like 3 because <laughs> I have to head up to Toronto. I feel like it's the final phase of a transition of letting go of Toronto. And like I feel like I'm starting a whole new chapter of life. Head to Kingston. Let's get some food because I'm starving. Go get my stuff in storage. I'm so excited to see my coffee machine and my egg chair again. Much to say. This time it is different Sometimes I can't understand how we can be So hard to stay out of pain But with you everything has changed Even though we both stay the same Your way, 
promise me that you know The world is yours Strike them with your glow Go on now Be good Be fine Live your life Dream big, don't forget It's your life Rocks are meant to be picked up and thrown New ideas can be pleasantly overgrown But you know where to go if you follow that It's been a little while since I've updated you guys and a bunch of my stuff has been moved in and unpacked. So the office is is kind of a hot mess, honestly. But I mean, the kitchen and living room is pretty much done. I need to clean up those flowers over there that are kind of dying. But I figured the best way to wrap up this moving vlog would be to build the studio room, throw on some tunes, get, get building. Forget to be kind. Live it your life, go on now Chase your dreams Every scene, go on now Be good, be fine Live your into my own, my very own house. This feels so surreal. I've been here for like two weeks now and I've just been slowly building things and like slowly putting things away, slowly unpacking. I'm not even close to being done if I'm being honest with you. I only just finished making the dresser and the bed which I thought that I could do in one day. It took me like three days to build those things. But the coffee talk room is almost ready and this room which is the office is a hot mess right now, but it's also like, everything's where it needs to be. Now I just need to clean and organize everything. There's probably gonna be a lot of cleaning and organizational videos coming up. Honestly, I don't even know how to sum up this video. I feel like I already got emotional in this video if I ended up including it. If not, I found this note on my iPhone from April of 2020, and it was basically this tarot reading that I don't remember doing. I was searching for something in my phone. You know, you can like pull it down and like search towards the top. So I started typing something in and this note came up and it's from April 10th, 2020. So April of this year that just passed and... I'm so anxious and I feel really silly about it, but I just feel so like stuck. My entire world is just like flipping and fuck. <laughs> I honestly just want to live in a village with all the people that I love. <laughs> you know, have bonfires. <laughs> like fucking, I don't know, do yoga. <laughs> Staying in Toronto is like boring to me. What am I even crying about? This is wild. Back at it again. Half of that shit didn't probably even make sense. And the other half is probably just my anxiety speaking. Hello, sweet child of mine. Anyway, yeah, April was dark <laughs> and I have this note that I do not remember making like I don't even know if this sounds like me But it's this really long note that seems to be like a breakdown of a tarot reading or just like a life path I don't know what this is, but I just read it and I'm literally tripping out You need to decide things for you the place that you stand to make decisions is important 
be grounded with what you have accomplished and manifested, how you choose to live and what you feel like you owe yourself. Protect your resources, your energy, your love, heart, expectations, and dreams. It's a new beginning in self-love and self-awareness. It's a rebirth of life and circumstances. You can choose whatever you want. If you're settling, you need to ask yourself why. You're getting brighter because you're realizing that you can't stand on your own. A new seed, a new way of doing your work, perhaps? Question mark? It's literally what I'm in the thick of planning right now. Um, coming into rebirth, never been in this position in life. Pulling in everything you want and manifesting it all through your feminine, not going out and getting it. That doesn't even sound like me. I can't even tell anymore. You're so close to something that you didn't know you were waiting for. So close, but then there's fear. Someone feels abandoned or sad, but not surprised. If you're going to be driven by something, let it be the spiritual something. Take the soul path towards your goals. More happiness than you have ever even wanted is coming towards you. It's like you're dancing underwater. Who wrote that? Was that me? Like, I feel like I've been trying to play this whole process cool because I've, I've got like a feeling like someone's gonna jump out of the bushes and be like, punked. Hey, wait a minute, am I being punked? Where's Ashton? <gasps> Ashton! Oh my God! <laughs> You totally got me! I've been so unrooted <laughs> since I was like probably 16. So like 11 years of just feeling like I was flailing in the wind and I, I just feel like I'm about to root and it makes me even think back to Bali and like Lynette and us doing our reading, our oracle reading and I pulled the anchor and like when she read it out to me I just remember feeling this like feeling and <laughs> Just being like, I know I'm gonna anchor. Like I can tell I'm about to anchor. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Wow. I'm literally like shaking. I feel so uh, literally crying tears into my coffee cup right now. Bonfires in the summer. <laughs> Land for Bentley. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> okay. All right. Now that I got that on my system. Um. Yeah, that note really tripped me out. I don't remember writing that note at all. I don't know where it's from. Like there was a couple mentions of like tarot cards. So I don't know if I was doing a tarot reading and was just like analyzing it. And you're good enough to raise your standards and ask for something better from the universe. It's time to take action. <laughs> Anytime I try and sit and like do any type of meditation to be like, thank you or to just like really feel it, you know, like there's been a couple moments where I've just like stopped and looked around and just started crying or like just moments where I've been doing my daily routine and I'll just start crying. I was meant to move here. I was meant like I've known this land before. Like it doesn't make sense. I know that, but it's, I think it's gonna be a few months of like actually simmering in that before I really feel like I'm ready to start outflowing again. With all the going and going of trying to get this house, all the paperwork, all the more like logical things that I had to do. In the background, there was just this like simmering feeling and I can sense it and I can still feel it, but it's transformed and it's changed as the process has continued. And I don't know, there's no other, I can't really explain it. I'm just gonna have to show you over the next few months. As much as I know I've worked really hard and, and saved my money and like just did all the things I needed to do to get this, I also am so aware that my career wouldn't be my career without you guys. My job wouldn't be my job without you guys. I like, I don't know how to thank you. I really don't. Just rooting for me, like your guys' comments on the Empty House tour were just like, I don't know, I just feel very loved and supported by you guys as well. I love you guys all the way to Proxima B. Maybe let's hit up Saturn, cause why not? Maybe check out a few of its moons and then come back to Earth again so that we can hang out either in the next coffee talk or in the next vlog on this channel. Bye guys.